so hi welcome back everyone now let's start solving this uh, regression project okay the first step is import all the libraries so let's import everything that we know as for the first per uh, perspective that we need so we are going to import pandas as pd we are going to import numpy as np we are going to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt we are going to import c1 the next thing is we need clean test split okay so from scikit-learn dot model selection import train oops from scikit learn dot model selection import train test split what are the other things that we might need we have c1 numpy uh, we need to call out a regression so from scikit-learn dot linear model import uh, linear regression and we might need a matrix yeah. so from scikit-learn import matrix okay mm, numpy there's a typo okay so we have all the needed libraries the next thing is let's import our data set okay so let's write car car equals to pd dot read csv and we are going to take the card data csv if you look we have two data set over here card data csv and bike data csv as of now, we are going to use the card data CSV. Let's look if everything is fine. So yeah, we have the card. Now we are going to perform ED on this. Now we have the data set. We have imported the libraries. And we have got out the data set. The next thing that we need to do is uh, something quite similar that we have been doing a lot. We are going to perform ED on this. You know the first two steps that I like the most is use the describe describe method and the info method. Okay, from describe you can see that uh, your selling price. Prior, uh, present price and kilometers driven these are in integers so we are and also owner mm, so you are getting the values uh, count we have total i guess 301 uh, rows data points uh, you can see the distribution also the, distri the data is quietly distributed i guess somewhere between 2012 to 2016 yeah. mm, we have the selling price present price Okay. Hmm. Everything looks just fine. And the next thing is, do we ha really have any empty uh, null values, empty values over here? So we can see that we don't have any empty value over here. Now, as you know that in machine learning, we have to use a data set where we have only integer values or floating point values. Okay, numbers basically. So over here we have car name, car name which is not really useful for us okay uh, if you want to check let's take car name and check uh, car let's pass car name car name capital L name so we have the car name and you can do is value counts Hmm. So you see, we don't really have a lot of things in over here. 
you can do a count plot to just to get a view of it sns dot count plot and pass this okay so you see that a lot of cars are there you can also uh, check out uh, the unique values See, there are so many unique cars over there. So we don't really need the uh, car name for feature, right? So we will drop that feature. We don't really need it. Next is year. Year is fine. You can uh, actually check out the distribution of year. For that, we have this plot. And for each and every column, we are going to check out the distribution. Let's take car.column. Car.column. Hmm. So let's pass <coughs> car dot year. Hmm. As I've told you, most of the data was variated somewhere between 2012 to 18. See, from here itself, from the describe function, we can say that 25% of the data we have in 2000 till 2012, and then 75% of the data is 2016, and the maximum value is 2018. So we can actually say that more, most of the data was variated in this range itself, right? It's uh, not a normal distribution, but it's fine. It's okay for us as of now. Let's look into the other part also. We have seen card of year. Let's check out for the selling price. Even in selling price. Hmm. So we have our hmm. we have a small idea about what we are looking into. Okay. Uh, selling price. So the selling price, the mini mean minimum is zero and the maximum is thirty five. Right? Okay. 